Hi everybody, this is Thomas from Grown with LED. I welcome you back to our light measurement series. Today we have episode 3. After posting the last time in episode 2 about the HPS 600 watt at 60 centimeter distance, which I personally always use because of the heat, we got lots of requests from viewers that wanted to know what is the actual light if you put the lamp closer to the plants at 45 centimeter distance the same distance we measured our LED in, the Lucy Lou. So, for comparison reasons and because we have lots of requests and we listen to our viewers, we will measure the 600 watt HPS again in the same setup as last time. We've put it again in our home box tent, the ambient Q120 plus. Over our measurement grid, a water level, central into the tent, so meaning equal distance from all sides, and at a distance now, of 45 centimeters from the lamp to the sensor of our light measurement tool, the PAR200 from UPR Tech. And now we're gonna turn on the setup, let it run stationary, and then we're gonna do the measurement. For the power measurement, uh, it's gonna be the, exactly the same values as last time when we measured the 600 watt with the 600 watt setting on the ballast. That's what I'm gonna measure again. And then later the super lumen setting, for the 600 watt setting and the super lumen setting, you can see the info about the power measurement here again. Here we have the Waltcraft Energy Logo 4000 measuring the HPS 600 watt right now with the Lumatec ballast set to the 600 watt settings. And at this moment, we have 232 volts and drawing a current of 2.73 amps. We push the mode button we can see this is using 628.5 watts at this moment or 335.7 volt ampere with a power factor of 0 0.98 those are the measurements for the standard settings of the ballast at this moment our Waltcraft energy logger 4000 shows an energy consumption of 232.8 volts at uh, a current of 3 amp amps. This is now at the super lumen settings, which means 660 watts in our Lumatec dimmable ballast. And now we go one further and we see it draws now actually 691 watts. And that's also 698 volt amperes at a power factor of 0 0.99. This is the power consumption for a second measurement at the super lumen setting from the Lumatec ballast. Now that we have finished measuring all the different measuring points in our measurement grid with the part 200, we have put all the different values into an Excel file and made up our lighting plot for you with the key value, which you can see here now. Here you can see the BPFD plot now for the 600 watt HPS at the distance of 45 centimeter with the ballast set to 600 watt. The power consumption at this time was 629 watts. The BPFD sum, all spots together, is 71,266 micromole per square meter per second. The BPFD average is 495. The BPFD per watt is 0 0.79. The BPFD min is 230. The BPFD max is 860. The homogeneity calculates to 0 0.46 and the inhomogeneity to 0 0.27. As you can see again in the plot, the most light and most intense light is concentrated in the middle right under the lamps and diminishes to the outside of the tent. This is a typical picture for the HPS lighting plot and will be used as a benchmark in the future. Here you can see the BPFD plot for the 600 watt HPS measured at a distance of 45 centimeters with the ballast set to the super lumen setting. The super lumen setting is 660 watt and then a measured power consumption of 691 watts. The BPFD sum, which is all measuring points in the grid summed up together, is 82,695 micromole per square meter per second. The BPFD average is 574. The BPFD per watt is 0 0.83. The BPFD minimum is 267. The BPFD maximum is 998. The homogeneity 
comes out to 0.46 and the inhomogeneity calculates to 0.27. Those are the key values of this lamp and above it you can see in the grid very clearly with the dark orange and red uh, measurement points this is where the most light intensity is directly under the valve a typical picture of a HPS measurement. Those new values and the new landing plot will be the benchmark for future comparisons for at 45 centimeter distance we now know what a 600 watt HPS delivers and so we can compare our future LED measurements with this benchmark and you at home can then compare which LED fixture you would like to use and how good of it they are. Thanks for watching and see you at the next episode. Aloha!